What's going on guys? Just a quick video inside of Affinity Publisher just to show you how you can pin images to text and why you may want to do this. This feature is going to be really useful if you guys are creating short stories such as this one right here or maybe a magazine column or maybe just a food menu, something along those lines or just pretty much anything where you're going to incorporate text and images together. So on the screen in front of us, you can see I just created this short story, which is made up of a couple of text frames, which includes our story inside of them and just a title at the top. And I also have an image in the background. So just above that on page one, I have these three different characters right here, which I want to include into these pages. So what I'm going to do first of all is just select maybe the sheep and just drag that down here onto the left hand page. And I'm going to decide roughly where I want to put this character. So because it mentions sheep right here, I think I'll go ahead and just use that paragraph. And I'm going to resize that just a little bit and put that into the rough position where I would want to put it. And what we want to do next is just make sure this text is going to follow the shape of our sheep. And the way that we would do that is by heading to the top menu bar to where we have our text wrap settings. Inside of here, we have a few different options that we can use. So first of all, we can select this jump one right here, which is going to put that in between the two paragraphs. So I'll go ahead and just show you how that works. Next to that, we have the option to have a square, which is going to follow that in a square shape around the object. However, next to that one is going to be the option that we want to use, which is called tight. And that is going to follow the general shape of the sheep itself. Then at the bottom here, we have distance from text, which is going to ensure that the text is not too close to the image. So you can have whatever you like inside of here. I think I'm going to use about three millimeter. Go ahead and hit close. So if I now grab my sheep and I start to move that around, you can see that the text is following the general shape of the sheep and I can make that either bigger or smaller and just move that into place. I'm going to put that roughly over here just to make sure that my text stays on the left hand side of the sheep. Maybe move that over just a little bit. So there is our first animal. So what you're going to notice right now, because we don't have this pinned inside of the text, if I go ahead and I just choose a paragraph, maybe this one right here, and I just hit the return key, you can see this specific paragraph of text is moving as well as all the text underneath it. However, the character itself is completely still, and that is not what we want to do. What we want to do instead is have the character pinned to a specific word or paragraph. So what I'm going to do is just bring this back to where we started. Then we'll go ahead and just pin this character to this paragraph over here. So what we need to do in order to pin that to a certain word or paragraph is go ahead and make sure that we selected the image, which is that one right there. Then just on the top menu bar at the top, you can see we have this pin icon and all we've got to do is select that. And now you can see we've had this blue pin appear. Now all we've got to do is just move this into place to where we would like that to apply. So if you want this to apply to a certain paragraph, you want to make sure that you apply this after the first word. So that's going to be right there. And with that done, I can go ahead and just get my type tool again and now come back into this paragraph. And you see once I hit enter, the text and the character will both move together. So I'll go ahead and just put that back. And it's really as simple as that. If you find at any point you want to move your pin to a different location or word or paragraph, then all we've got to do is select that character once again, which we can do over here in the layers. Go ahead and select the character. Then all we need to do is grab that pin and just move that to any other location you may want to put it. So I'll just keep that there for now. You can also come back in at any point and resize your character if you want to. That is entirely up to you. So with that one done, I'll just quickly bring in the other two so we can quickly recap what we did. So I'll go ahead and grab the elephant, just drag that down, make that a little bit smaller. With the elephant, I'm going to put it maybe on this paragraph up here. So just like before, we'll go into our text wrap settings, choose a tight option. Down here, I'm going to put three millimeter. Go ahead and hit close. Roughly put my character where I would like it to go. So maybe around there, just to make sure all the text is on the left hand side of the character. Make that a little bit smaller. Then just like before, we'll grab our pin and we'll assign that just to the first paragraph right here. So at the end of the R, then just like before, if we go ahead and we hit enter, that's going to move along with the paragraph. So I'll go ahead and just put that back. Finally, we'll get the last image. So we'll go back up there, grab that one, just bring that down here, maybe towards the bottom. Make that a little bit smaller. Just like before, we're going to go to the text wrap settings. Go ahead, choose tight. Put that to three millimeter or any number that you guys may want to use. Put that into place, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And we'll go and pin that to this section right here. So at the end of when, 
and then that is now complete and that is all you need to do in order to pin your images to your text. So this feature is going to be especially useful if you find that you want to add or remove any text inside of your paragraphs because then the image is going to move along with the paragraph as it gets either longer or shorter. So I hope you found today's video useful. If you did then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm trying to reach a personal milestone of 10,000 subscribers. That is my goal this year and all of you guys can make that happen. But for now I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.